What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the DuPont analysis. Now this is something that has been used, it's been popularized in corporate finance um, to really evaluate the return on equity. And return on equity, essentially what that is, is our net profit divided by our shareholders capital or aka our equity. And this is a way of saying, hey look, how much money did I put in and how efficient is my money coming back out compared to what I put in? What's my return on my investment essentially? Now, the reason the DuPont analysis is made so popular is because it really has taken this very simple ROE formula here, the net profit divided by shareholders capital or equity, and it's divided it into three different sections. Okay, the first section here is going to be the net profit uh, divided by total sales. Now, this gives you your net profit margin. What the net profit margin basically tells you is how efficient are you at turning your sales into profits, all right? How efficient are you at selling a product and actually retaining a lot of that money there, all right? Now, the second piece here is your total sales divided by your total assets or your asset turnover. What this is a measure of is how quickly can you take whatever inventory you have and turn it into an actual sale, all right? Basically, how long are you holding your assets? Now, the way that we look at this is the higher the asset turnover ratio is, then the quicker you're turning things over, all right? The smaller it is, the slower you are. Or another way of putting it is if you had an asset turnover ratio of, let's just say, 0.5, well, that's saying that for every dollar of assets that you have, you're able to generate 50 cents worth of revenue. So obviously, the higher, the better. We would love to see a ratio of, you know, two and a half, five, 10, 20, and basically saying for every dollar of assets we have, we can then turn around and make $5, $10, $20 on. And the third and the final piece here is the total assets divided by the shareholders' equity. So what this is, is basically saying how much debt do we have? If we have a ton of assets, but very little equity, meaning money out of our own pocket. Well, then this typically reflects that we relied heavily on some sort of debt, some financing or something to in order to uh, accumulate that. So if we have very little money in, that can be good. Maybe it could be bad. So let's say we have a ton of assets here and this ratio is really high. Well, that could mean that we're being at risk of being over leveraged, right? Maybe we have too much leverage or it could simply mean that we're just really efficient at trading equity. Now, obviously, depending on the industry, these numbers will change. It'll look completely different from a utility industry to a coaching or consulting industry to a real estate industry. And even within the real estate space, again, we could coach or consult, we can wholesale or do assignments, or we can fix and flip where we actually carry inventory. Now, if you look at the DuPont analysis specifically, What's happening here is you can see what's highlighted is our net profit right here in the formula and our shareholders equity. Because again, the ROE formula is net profit minus shareholders equity. Okay. And so what that's saying is if we come in here and we go ahead and subtract our total sales, then we turn around, we can take it off of that second equation there under asset turnover. Okay. Then if we look at our total assets on asset turnover, well, we can go ahead and cancel that out with the equity multiplier at the end of total assets. And we are left with the same exact formula for return on equity, which is our net profit divided by our shareholders capital or our shareholders equity. All right. So again, the DuPont analysis is a way of just breaking down this same formula. And why do we want to break it down? Well, the reason why is because we can essentially say, hey, look, if these are the components of our return on equity, well, how do we increase our return on equity? And when we look at it this way and we look at the formula, we can pretty much back it in and say, hey, look, what are some easy ways to increase ROI? Well, one is to increase our net profit margin. The second one is to efficiently use our assets, right? And increase our asset turnover. And the third one is to increase our leverage ratio, right? to increase that leverage ratio. So this was just a quick video of understanding how the DuPont analysis works, how we break down those components so you can go out and use it in your own business. And if you do have a business in the real estate space and you want to help being able to do this financial analysis, figure out areas that you can improve efficiency, where you can improve profits, then you can reach out to us over at G2 Business Solutions. 
We have our scheduling link down in the description below. So you can go ahead and just schedule there as well as our email at info at g2businesssolutions.com. So feel free to reach out to us and we'll be sure to help you out. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.